Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about reference crosshairs, which are a visualization tool suggested by Kevin Shawley. So they apply to supervised trackers and do whatever the currently selected supervised tracker is, and you can turn them on by a couple of different ways. First, uh, from the view menu, down in tracker appearance, down off the edge is show reference crosshairs or on the view menu there's also show reference crosshairs here and you'll see that there's also a keyboard accelerator which is the shift and plus key which turns them on and that's generally the easiest way to go so now you see the reference crosshairs are there you can get an idea of, of what they're good for and you see that I can use them to line up with whatever features there are in the image that may be nice and long. And you know you can adjust the length of these. And it's always the same on each side, up and out. Um, and the alignment of these. And now I can go and track through the shot. And you know by the end of the shot, the scenes turn you know twisted around a little. The camera orientation has changed. So I can now go and animate these a little. And continue to use them as, as a reference. And here the 5 key, which is pan to follow, can be helpful in staying and keeping the viewport centered on the particular tracker that is selected. So the reference crosshairs don't affect the tracking at all. They're strictly a uh, visibility visualization sort of tool. You know, you can see in a situation like this, they're most useful where there's some other features that are lined up, but you may not have a great image right where the corner is, or you know, right where the feature is that you're actually tracking. So just to take another look at that, I just hit five again to turn turn it back off. Let's go to this corner down here. We'll set up another tracker. You notice the crosshairs are only shown for the currently selected tr tracker. And again, I'll do the same thing. I'll just line these guys up. Again, just for reference. And now we'll go and we'll track through the shot. And you see now it starts to get a little nasty there because that tree comes in front of the window. So now I'm going to go and actually just set up a little offset tracking setup instead where I'm going to track the next window up. And now we'll keep on tracking. There goes that tree completely occluding the actual corner. We actually reach the end of the shot. So now here at the end of the shot, I want to go and adjust the keying for the offset tracker to bring it back into location. I'll adjust the orientation of my line there a little. Now you can see as we scrub back through the shot, that was the 5 key again, we see that we're staying lined up. You know, even as the tree completely obscures that window. So that's just a quick example of what you can do with the reference crosshair. You know, they're not going to be applicable to every scene. They just might be a helpful in, in particular shots. So uh, there's something you can use. And of course, if you uh, want to go and play with the actual tracks, you have the uh, tracks for the animation of those crosshairs that you can adjust in the graph editor as well. So hope that helps. Take care.